we will now go through the last part of the 2023 Breakpoint Implementation Toolkit, which is part G. This is also an Excel, but there are no formulas in it. So this is the blank template form. Um, it is in a, divided into two parts. So this first table is for accuracy and it has similar headings to part F. So an area where you can put your lab information, um, your comparator isolate information, the results from your comparator isolate, um, your test results uh, from your commercial AST system, um, and then columns for you to indicate whether there's essential agreement, category agreement, errors, and any comments. And scrolling down, this is where you'll find your precision table. And over here, you'll find your results tables. And this is for accuracy and uh, precision. There's also a box that can be used to input some general information about your test system. So that is um, whatever test system you're using, the antimicrobial that this worksheet is reflecting, um, and then what the breakpoints are, um, the old and the, the new that you are validating or verifying. This concludes the video tutorials for the various bit parts. We hope that this free toolkit makes validating and verifying updated breakpoints more simplified and streamlined. To provide any feedback for any of the parts of this toolkit, feel free to contact CLSI.